so good day then crafty chums and I said if I was going to make a card from the magazine then I'd show you on camera and I'm going to be making this card here um, if the swearing of those will let me I'm sure it won't cause me too many problems um, but I hope you're able to watch it as I go through this sometimes it's quite difficult isn't it anyway so here we go um, now this uh, this uh, piece of paper here on the instructions it says uh, cut 140 millimeters square so I'll have a look on my uh, trusty um, if I can find it because I've just put it down <laughs> Woo -hoo! ruler so I put the ruler down look and I can't see it now Okay, there it is. So, um, yeah, so 140. 140 is 14 centimetres, which is five and a half inches. I've got this card, it's this, um, this black cardstock here. I thought I'd going to make it on, and so that's not 140. That's, uh, uh, so I'm going to cut it at four and three quarters by four and three quarters so I'm do, going to do four and three quarters by four and three quarters on this so you know just so if you don't have the size that um, they're saying you, you just got to adapt adapt four and three quarters by four and three quarters just adapt uh, sizes to fit whatever you've got, you know. So that's it there, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Then it says, um, it says to trim the peach border from here to go on there to match. So that's what I'll do. I'll just trim the border off here. Sorry about the squeaking of the boat, but it's the way, it's the, way the wind is. <laughs> the wind is right on the nose, so um, yeah, it's making the boat go a little bit. So I'll cut this one up four and three quarter inches long as well. Should match up nicely on there, which it does. Then the instructions say. So it says to um, wrap some lace around here. Now I've got some some lace here, and uh, like that. I think that will be quite nice. So I might do that. Let's have a look. See if I've got enough to go top and bottom and I do is plenty plenty I've got plenty so because uh, otherwise I was going to go in the white that's also quite nice actually let's see which one looks best shall we it's that one quite like peachy yeah I don't know is it too much peach oh decisions decisions <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't. No, I don't. Anyway, what I'm going to do is cut this one in half. Cut this to a match. That, that, that. There's more of this. Okay. What I'm going to do is stick this bit on to the top of this card. be a good start won't it there we go I tidied up my desk by the way <laughs> sorry if my hair's getting in the way on my head Still undecided about that. Definitely put it on the bottom bit. That looks okay. Just use a bit thinner tape. Because of course the good way good way of uh, hiding your tape. Just to put ribbon on it. drop that one on the floor, never mind. I changed my mind about how I was going to do that one, didn't I? It's just a bit tricky um, getting it onto the tape, onto the ribbon there, so I changed my mind about how to lay it down. There you go. attach this to the back. Normally it's good to have like scotch tape on there but I've run out at the moment so no scotch tape. Normally I'd scotch tape it down just you know tape it down to the back. But you just make do with what you got when you've run out. Yeah because uh, it's good not to um, waste your uh, double-sided tape which is more expensive So 
the same and decided whether to put that on the top as well. I think it's overkill actually. I'm not going to put it on because I don't like it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to pop this uh, onto the um, onto the card base now. do that just um you just rip a bit of the cards the design paper there when you um put your finger lift tape up when you rip it don't worry about it <laughs> it's not the end of the world see what i got under there i got a little bit of um thread must be from my cardigan Or something. There we go. I know a lot of people do that um, when they put uh, design paper down onto cardstock, and what they do is they uh, do it halfway in case they make a mistake so they can easily lift it up or anything. But do you know what? It's a handmade card, if it's not quite there it doesn't quite really matter unless of course you're selling them then but even then it's still a handmade card. <laughs> so and on this one it's got this uh, it's got this little cutout thingy here. If I can get it out. It's a really granny card this one look it's what your grannies used to have but anyway so that goes there and uh, and on the card they've got it's also got this underneath well do you know what I can't really put it on because um, my card's smaller than theirs so I'm gonna leave it off because just with that it's quite pretty on its own, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's quite pretty on its own, so I'm going to leave that one like that. But I am going to um, I'm just going to pop it up a little bit. I think. I think that'll look okay. Yeah, just going to pop it up a little bit, give it a little bit of dimension. that card there and I could also put a few pearls and things on here so how about I do that as soon as I didn't um, follow the card as they said <laughs> let's see if I've got some pearls that are all the same size huh but quite a few pearls and but they sort of like they're all different sizes and things Here's some nice small ones. Might have a bit of trouble getting these off than that, but we'll give it a go, shall we? Just going to pop this into the centre of this sort of like 
neck curtain effect on the paper. <laughs> some little flowers there. These are of course if I use my liquid pearls. But I just wanted to make a quick card for this swap that I've got to send off. <laughs> gotta send it off. It's gotta go today. So yeah, that's quite pretty. It's quite an old-fashioned card, this one is, isn't it? See, I wasn't convinced by the paper and things, but it looks okay. It's not too bad. First time I've used toppers and things, because I prefer to make it all myself. You know, to do the stamping myself and that so so yeah not too shabby looks okay there we go then that's that one made what I'll do is I'll just um, pop some paper on the inside as well I think Okay, of course, so I've got this other bit of paper that I used to cut off the uh, border, so I'll use this and um, just to pop it on the inside, and it was four and three quarters by four and three quarters, wasn't it? So four and three quarters by four and three quarters. That's what we'll do. So I let all my chats gone, but <laughs> when I'm concentrating I just I forget to talk. Of course I'm so used to just playing music on things that uh, you get out the habit of just chitter shattering to the camera and uh, yeah. So anyway, there we go. That's the inside and the out. That was my very quick, quick for me. <laughs> a card and I uh, hope you liked it so um, let's see what did I say did I tell you it was from this uh, card making and pa paper craft magazine number issue 154 and this is the card from the magazine there and that's my card there so I hope you liked it see you again soon bye